Hey, what's up guys? Alan here with EatSleepTrade.net. Going to bring you guys the watch list for the week of April 13th, 2015. Finally getting settled into the new place and going to try to get back on a routine to getting these updates coming more often. So thanks for tuning in tonight. Sit tight for just another second and we will be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. First up on the list, H A B T. Uh, so not too far from its initial uh, public offering, and we are expecting uh, earnings release for these guys on May first. Uh, expecting a increase by twelve percent in sales with revenues of 54 million uh, so looking pretty positive we've got this large uh, wedge forming here you can see on the blue lines and I really want to see this thing continue to consolidate and hopefully get a nice break out uh, of this large wedge on Thursday uh, we put a double bottom in right here, right at 3050. Uh, so that area is showing as a nice area of support for Thursday and Friday. Um, if we hold above that 3050 area, um, that could show us a little bit of strength. We also want to try to get a close above this 50 period. Uh, you can see the last three days we've failed to get that close above. Uh, so definitely got some resistance there on the 50 period. Next area of resistance up here, uh, which is going to be right around 3240s, 3250s. And uh, up here again, just below that $34 area. So coming into next week, uh, I wouldn't mind seeing a continuation into this wedge until we consolidate a little bit tighter and then get that breakout. Uh, but seeing this double bottom come in, we're hanging right around the 50 period. Uh, we could see uh, a nice breakout prior to consolidating all the way down into this wedge. Uh, we had huge volume, uh, relative volume on Friday as well. So 3.3 million volume, pretty big for this stock here actually the biggest volume it's had since its original listing back here so keep an eye on this uh, watch that double bottom and wait to see if we're going to continue to consolidate through this wedge or if we start getting a break up towards or above that 3240 or 3250 area um, where we failed to break quite a few times right here. Next up on the list is going to be TESO. And this one here is going to be a carryover from one of our previous watch list. And we were looking for a bottom to form down here off this 950 area as we started to uh, create this little wedge and started to put some higher lows in so now you could see since that time we've broken out of that wedge managed to get above the 50 period simple moving average which is something that uh, we haven't been above in quite some time and managed to uh, turn that 50 period moving average uh, into support and hold above it nicely and want to see this thing test uh, $12 finally next week. Um, we've had some resistance just below that $12 
area, but that's going to be uh, the number to break to really show some strength in TESO and see if we can start a new uptrend on this or confirm a new uptrend. Uh, everything's looking pretty good right now. Just got to uh, watch that $12 area and maybe a opportunity to buy on that break above 12 so I'll definitely be giving some updates on this one throughout the week next on the list is NHTC uh, so another crazy stock that had a huge parabolic move up to 22 um, giving shorts a great opportunity to get short on that before it slammed back pretty hard um, but overall the chart is pretty strong and has been grinding pretty steadily up for quite some time now and we're looking to get in on a 52 week breakout high uh, so you can see we closed above uh, a new 52 week high on Friday as well as having a lot of relative volume uh, so there's one of two things that could result from this happening and that's one we see or the first one is we see this one start to go parabolic so we get a week open on a Monday but uh, we'd like to see that 22 area um, start to hold as support so that previous resistance area start to now act as support also giving us an area to set our risk if we take a trade on the 52 week high breakout or the second option uh, we wait for this thing to cool off pull back a little bit come back under that 22 uh, $22 area and see if we can put in a higher low and find some support before we make that 52 week high breakout so two things we'll be watching on to that one um, if we're going to take a position on this, we want to see 22 uh, hold as well as that 22 area become our risk with the reward to the top side, uh, at least double what our risk will be. So if we're risking around 30 cents, then we want to see a 60 cent to dollar move on that top side. And with the relative volume that we had on Friday, I think that is a very plausible move and a reasonable expectation for a 60 cent to a dollar move on this one. Next up on the list is CLNE. So this chart looks pretty good. I've been watching it um, for a little bit now, waiting for it to also put in its bottom. And as you guys can see now, we've started to put in some higher lows coming off that bottom and are creating a nice uptrend. We're back above the 50 days simple moving average and it is holding as support right now along with our uptrend. Uh, so we want to see this 540 area here continue to act as support and hold as well as see if we can't get that break out above six dollars um, which has been a double area of resistance for us now uh, so definitely time to get the breakout above that six dollar range if we don't see that uh, break above six dollars look for entry point around that 540s uh, if it pulls back a little bit and starts to hold that We've got a lot of support on this one. You've got support at your 50 day, support at your uptrend, as well as support in this 540 area. Uh, so if this does pull back, any of these areas are going to be great entry spots with a good defined risk reward uh, in the anticipation that we can get back up to six and possibly see that $6 break higher. Uh, so with some volume starting to come back into this, uh, we could definitely see that coming into next week. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below.
Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos. Also, check out our website, eatsleeptrade.net. From there, you can follow me on Twitter and stay up to date on all the socks that we are watching and trading throughout the week. All right, guys, good luck, and we'll see you next week. Thanks.